delivering the left jab and following with the right. He is not running away from Tyson, and Tyson goes to work on the body. A few weeks ago, who scored the Larry Holmes Michael Spinks fight in favor of Holmes? That was an excellent right uppercut by Quick Tillis, which is a punch that should be effective against someone who comes in burrowing in like Tyson does. As he has managed to stay away from Tyson's Thunderbolts, although he just took a right hand. We'll be back. Lost to Tillman in the Olympic trials. Right hand lands flush on the cheek. Custom auto trained fighter prides himself on his defense. And Mike really was disappointed that uh, Zowski hit him with some right hands. A jab by Mike Tyson. A rare punch for him in his first 19 fights. Good head movement by Tyson coming in. He won't knock Tillis out with it, but he will wear him down and bring his hands down so he can land punches to the head. Tillis's trainer and co-manager Bo Williford said that he had been working with him for the last six weeks on tying up Tyson's arms. This is an important learning experience for Mike Tyson. He's going to have to be able to handle a quick Tillis to get to the top of the event. He is right now. Tillis. And Tillis is making a mistake of trying to trade with Mike Tyson. He should be moving off the ropes. Round three coming to a close. And Mike Tyson warms to the task once again as the round comes to a close. Back with more after this word from our local station. To Mike Tyson. Right hand. And a good left hook. And that one left hook which scored. Tyson now appears to be a little less shy about stepping up inside. But now low he gets to duck under those punches. Puncher Mike Weaver, largely by staying away. He got punched. Again, he lunges in. It gets caught. The left hand. I don't think that was a punch. The knockdown punch was a punch that hurt quick to He might have learned not to lunge so badly with the left hand, though. That's frankly astonishing because the opportunity is there for him to do a lot of damage. There, he gave a half-hearted effort at that combination we talked about, the right to the body and the right uppercut. And that was on January 25. Two good short chopping right hands by Tillis. Tyson waiting for Tillis to open up, and those two body punches did get Tillis' attention, and he grabs. Come on, Just the grimace on his face alone, I think, indicates that Quick Tillis was hurt by those two body punches. And the right hand got through the guard onto the cheek of Tillis, who looks a little the worse for wear now in the last minute of round five. And now it becomes clear that Tillis will last longer than anyone else has. Personally, Alex, I have it 4.01 for Tyson. I've not given Tillis a round. Uh, right. uh, one way is to say that uh, he's pacing himself, he's waiting for the opening. The other way is to say that he's getting frustrated and getting taken out of his fight. There was moments ago a brief combination to the body of the kind of rapid fire punching that you expect from Tyson, but that was one of a very few times, perhaps the only time in the bout when we've seen it. But again, he comes on at the end of the round. Tyson with the lead in the fight to this point over James Quick Tillis, but fighting a curiously docile fight so far. He almost looks right here like he's waiting for Tillis to, to make the fight, to come to him. And I think he also trained harder for this fight. He realizes this fight means everything to him. He has lost four of his last five. Where they called him Dark David. There's a right hand by Tyson. And the uppercut. Mike was a little bit extended with the punch. Did not have the proper range for full power. Now he's at the right range. Phyllis landed a left. Didn't seem to phase Tyson at all. We will stay here between rounds. As it is Tillis who tries to flurry at the end of round seven in 1981. There, there is no question that up till now, if the fight continues this way and goes to a decision, Tyson, in my opinion, will win the decision. But the Mike Tyson mystique will suffer. Could that, in fact, Alex, be good for Mike Tyson? Yeah, I think ultimately you're exactly right. To get that learning experience. 
and maybe if he has to go to decision to win the fight, then there won't be as many people asking every day, when are you going to fight for the championship of the world? <laughs> Tyson looks very much like the Mike Tyson who lost two close decisions to Henry Tillman in the heavyweight uh, trials for the Olympic Games in 1984. He is confused by the movement. The movement does not allow him to, to hit uh, a stationary target and therefore he can't set himself as well. And Henry Tillman recently scored a first round knockout over Bash Ali. Right now we are in round nine. Mike Tyson well ahead in the scoring, or so we would judge it, against James Tillis. But looking for a knockout to keep his 19 knockout string alive. I'm not sure he is looking for a knockout, Jim. He, I mean, he certainly isn't fighting like someone who is. It's possible that, number one, he, he doesn't know how to knock Tillis out. Tillis has presented a problem to him in terms of power punching that he can't solve. But secondly, it's also possible that Mike Tyson is interested in how he is going to react to fighting rounds. He's heard all the doubters say he can't go... Uh, 10 rounds or 15 rounds and maybe he's in the back of his mind trying to find out exactly is how he is going to respond in that kind of a fight that he is in no danger in my opinion of losing we have gotten to the end of round nine we'll be back for the closer after this the crowd tries to liven itself up try to provide some encouragement to mike tyson most of them have come here today hoping to see a knockout and frankly expecting to see a knockout tyson Tries to deliver with the right hand and steps in and throws the left. Always difficult to know why a crowd is booing. You can't psychoanalyze 8,000 people. I think it's possible that they're disappointed in Mike's performance. They came here wanting to see what, him do what he's done in his previous 19 fights. And he doesn't appear at this point to be going all out to satisfy them. Landed the left hand, but Tillis stood right there. Tyson, one of the few times we've ever seen him swinging wildly. Good left hand. Tillis is still there. Tillis continues to give a good account of himself. It will be interesting to see how Mike reacts to this. Closing with a flurry. Here is the official score. Judge Bernie Friedkin scores it six rounds to four. Judge Allen scores it six rounds to four. Judge Tony Murray scores it eight rounds to two. Defeated. Ah!